Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm very, well, quite excited about because I'm hoping this is going to work. But I am going to be mixing some mineral eyeshadows together to kind of create, well hopefully create some duochrome um, shadows. Now this isn't like a new thing, like people do the challenge of mixing all their eyeshadows together, all the mineral ones together and stuff like that. But I just thought it'd be really cool if I could, if I could create some kind of like new shades of eyeshadow. So I'm using the Lily Lolo Mineral Eyeshadows. My favourite one has to be Pixie Sparkle, for sure. I will do a swatch. I will swatch all these as well. I thought it might be quite a nice base for creating new kind of shades of it. Now obviously you can like layer up eyeshadows, but I thought if they're actually like the particle colours are like in mixed in together, we might create more of like a duochrome effect. Anyway, so I've got a few options. So like I said, Pixie Sparkle is one of my favourite ones from Lily Lolo. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. So it's a really like, beautiful bluey purple shade. Not bluey purple, bluey green shade that I really like. And please ignore that. I don't know if anyone else has a Fitbit where that irritates their um, arm. But I have to take it off every so often. And I do like wipe it down and stuff like, and wash it. But for some reason it irritates the side of my wrist. But anyway, yes, yeah, so that's the shade Pixie Sparkle. So this is what I want to base, kind of the rest of, it's going to be a base for the rest of the colours. So I've got, to mix with it, Orchid, because I thought it might come out with like a, a frostier version. Same with Green Opal, I don't know how well that's going to go together. And then I thought it'd be really nice to add like a purple to it, so I've got Deep Purple, and create like a greeny purple duochrome effect, but also black and create something a bit different that way and have a black base to it. I don't know if it's going to work and it may just look no different for me laying the two but I just thought it might be quite cool and come up with different colour combinations. So I did think I'd mix Pixie Sparkle, Deep Purple and Witchy Poo together and create some kind of like galaxy petrol type colour. But we'll see. So so I've got a little tin down here. It's just for like a tea thing. And uh, I'm going to pop some of Pixie Sparkle in here. And I think the first shade... I'm going to try and do this with is deep purple. And I'm going to pop a little bit in here. And then I'm just going to take a brush just to kind of mix them together. So I'm just literally mix them together. And let's see. So I have um, put some primer on my arm just because these do need something to stick to. So I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh, that did actually work. It's created like a new shade. Like if I just do um, deep purple by itself. That's really pretty actually. It's definitely like purple in some light and then green other, so it has created a duochrome kind of effect, which I think is really cool. Right, okay, so I just cleaned that out. So put a little bit, of, I won't take as much this time, so Pixie Sparkle, and then I'm gonna try it with, let's try with Orchid Neck and see if it comes with a frosted look. I will start applying these to my eyes, but I wanted to see if these color combinations work and which one works the best and stuff like that. So I've got a mixture of the two. Let's use a different brush this time. Okay. Ooh. So that's made it look more blue like. Um, yeah. Let me just do. I mean, everyone knows what awkward looks like, but. Let's put it there. Oh, let's see. You can see there's a bit of the blue still mixed in there. But it definitely gives more of a um, blue finish to it, which I think is actually really pretty. Ooh. Kind of more of an aqua blue as opposed to pixie sparkle. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to now try it with green opal and then finally I'll try it with poo. And then I'm going to try it with... Uh, after the witchy poo on, add a bit of deep purple just to see if I can create, like I said, that kind of petal effect. Um, okay, so this is the combo of pixie with green opal. 
And in all honesty, that still looks kind of like green opal, not really pixie. So let me just take some green opal to compare. Oh no. Okay, so it definitely has done something. I'd say that's probably the least impactful. I think that one's given the least effect for sure. Like it's kind of too close to either colour, really. So it hasn't really done much for it. So I think that one's possibly not an option. And Witchy Poo the Black. I just thought it might create, I don't know, quite a cool colour. This might not work quite as nicely because the Witchy Poo is a matte. Okay. <gasps> Excuse the mess. Oh, see now that one I like. It's kind of given an emerald green effect. Oh, that one's really pretty and I do believe if I went ahead and mixed some purple in there, potentially that could be a winner. I'm going to do that actually. So in the concoction I've already got, I'm just going to add some deep purple as well. Swirl it about. Wow. Okay, so it has kind of given that petrol effect like I was after. Which I do think is really cool. Obviously you could like kind of customise it so you could go ahead and add a bit more purple in. To it but it kind of gives up galaxy or like petrol themes but i think this is my favorite one i love that green that is created here i don't know which is my favorite so i think for sure the green opal doesn't work well with pixie spark i think it's two kind of similar not similar greens but almost the orchid does create a really nice like baby blue which i do think it's really nice or an aqua blue the purple and the pixie sparkle together I really thoroughly enjoyed as well. Um, they gave a good duo crown. I mean, mixing witchy poo, look at that green, that's gorgeous. And then obviously you've got like, add the deep purple as well as the black. Looks really pretty. So now what I'm going to do is create a look, like a smoky eye, using one of these shades. And I have no idea which one I want to use, is the question. I think, as I've already got it mixed in the lid, I'm going to go with the combination of the three but if you want to see a look using one of the other ones probably this deep green one at some point let me know because I'm more than happy to do that and like I said this wasn't like meant to be anything groundbreaking I just really it came to my head and I thought I wanted to experiment see if you can mix obviously you can layer these but if you mix them already it kind of gives more of like an even finish and like I said a slightly more of a duochrome finish which it definitely has done with some of these shades like I said green opal not so much um it would be interesting to see like with some of the other colours what I could do but I just wanted to pick those ones because I thought they would work best with Pixie Sparkle and Pixie Sparkle is kind of the one I wanted as my base colour. What I will say is slightly messy but that's because I've been doing multiple ones. If I was just doing the one it would be fine but yeah. And yeah, I think I'm going to do like a classic kind of smoky eye with that shade but if you do want that green one, which I probably will just do the green one anyway because it looks stunning. Or if you've got like other combinations that you know I've got that you think might work. And similarly with my Silk Natural ones, I just thought it was quite a fun way of creating a slightly new shade um, of eyeshadow. Like I said, nothing groundbreaking, but I just came up with this idea. I thought about it the other day and I really wanted to give it a go. Give it a go. Right, I'm just going to go and do a smoky. I'm going to take the Ether Beauty Amethyst palette. I know I used the Solstice in my last one, um, but I thought it kind of matches the tones, I reckon, with this. But I'm just going to maybe take the mattes and smoke it out. Um, and yeah. Right, I'm just taking the shade Crown Chakra first through the crease. Sorry, that one's just there. And a slightly fluffier brush, I'm just going to take the shade um, Meditation to blend it out a bit further. I'm actually going to pick some of Centred Up, this one just here, and just kind of go through the crease with it. And then go back in with Meditation. I 
and take some of Pisces and just really load up this outer portion of the lid. Slightly bring it into the winged out look. Only ever so slightly. A fluffy brush just to soften those. I'm not picking up any more product, I'm just using because this one I use for the meditation shade, so I'm just using that where I was left to buff that Pisces into the wing a bit better. Let's get neaten it up and get a bit more of a sharp effect on this outer corner. I'm going to take some of Mystic to kind of highlight my brow bone and my inner corner as well. And now for the exciting bit, so all I need to do is I do need to lay down some more primer and that's what I do anyway because it needs something to stick onto. So I'm just going to lay some down in this inner portion. Okay, use the exact same brush I used for um, primer. I'm just going to mix it into the mixture. Obviously because it's got the primer it will make everything stick to it quite nicely tap it off because I don't particularly want any fallout although I might just put this under here just in case nice That is so pretty. I feel like the purple you can't really see on the camera. I can see it a bit better in person, like the duochrome effect it gives. But that's such a pretty, like, deep shade. I really love that. I think this has worked quite well, in my opinion. I'm just going to do the other eye, and then I'm going to blend that into the crease a bit better. Okay, let's just go ahead and make sure I blend this out. So I'm going to take, I'll take the Sigma brush to begin with. This did have the dark shade on it, but I'll go in with another one in a minute. Okay, I'm going to take the other brush and I will take some of Meditation. Just to further kind of soften and blend this inner corner. I'm actually going to take Pisces to begin with on a pencil brush and run it along here. Then on the other fluffy brush I've been using, take some of Balance. And then a little bit of meditation just to further blend. And then on the pencil brush, I will pick up some of that mixture. Make sure I tap it off. And just focus that. Now I haven't put any primer on this. But I just need a wash or a dusting of this colour under here. And shake some more of Mystic. It's kind of really intensify the inner corners okay so I just, just go ahead and put a black eyeliner in my waterline I felt like it needed it and I obviously added my lip on I really like how this has turned out like I said it's nothing revolutionary or anything like that but I just wanted to mix together the shadows see what kind of shades you can come up with I thought by mixing it gives a more even like distribution of the colour as well as opposed to packing on top and it does give a more duochrome effect I don't know how well it picks up on the camera the duochrome um, but I absolutely love it. I just love the shade that it's given as well. Like I said, it's kind of that petrol bluey green with a bit of purple running through it as well, which I really, really like. And like I said, I definitely want to do another look with the black and the pixie sparkle mixed together because that green looked beautiful. So I kind of really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, it wasn't anything like amazing, it was spectacular, but I really like the outcome of 
mixing these shards together. I think it does create a really cool effect. And you saw there was loads of different shades, like the baby blue shade, um, which would be really nice for like, spring and for summer as well, quite light colour. And uh, I just thought it was like, a nice way to kind of mix up and play with the shadows. So I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know if you would like to see the green, like the emerald green effect um, with the look, because I think that was really pretty as well. And if you've got any other colour combinations you think potentially might work out of my Lilo Low collection, because I've also got some of those limited edition ones as well, or like I've got some of those silk natural ones, if there's any combination you think might work quite nicely together, let me know. Um, but I really do hope you enjoy this video and it wasn't anything boring or anything like that. I mean, I really like the eye look that I've got going on. It's quite a deep, smoky eye. Um, and yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any requests for future videos down below and I'll see you in my next video.